I have two unlikely mentors in my life. Who are they? And why are they unlikely? That's our question today. I'm Paul Allen Clifford with TrinityDigitalMedia.com and you might know that I've started running. I started running back last April, so not quite a year ago. Uh, as I'm recording this, it's February, so, you know, coming up on a year, about 10 mon months ago. So, as I was running, you might know that it's not always a pleasant experience. You don't just start running and think, uh, I think today I'm going to run a marathon. I know yesterday I had never run more than, say, a mile in my entire life, but I think today I'll just run 26. Uh, no, you don't do that. You build up over time. Well, in the time as I was building up and sometimes discouraged, sometimes encouraged by the progress, I found a couple other people in my life who were also running. My friend Dale started running probably a year, year and a half before I did when he was 43. When I started running I was 39. So already he's older than I was when I started running. But you don't know all of Dale's story. You see Dale used to be a very big guy and a lot of times when people say big guy, they, they think of someone 250 pounds, 300 pounds. No, that's how much weight Dale has lost. Dale was a huge big guy. Not a small big guy, a big, big guy. When he was about 100 pounds overweight still, that's when he started running. Let's look at my other friend. My other friend's name is Helen. Now, uh, at the risk of broaching societal etiquette, I'll just say that uh, Helen was at one time one of my professors, not because, and it's not the case that I went to school later, if you know what I mean. She's, she was born a little earlier than I am. So, she also has a very good excuse not to start running. But she didn't let that stop her. So Helen, who was, let's say, around 10 years more senior than me, started running this last year. And she didn't let that stop her either. So as I was running, as I was facing difficult times, as I was thinking, am I really too old for this? I mean, I'm almost 40. Maybe I shouldn't be doing this. Which, by the way, now I am 40, and I am still doing it. As I kept having these thoughts, I would think about Dale and think, well, he's not only older than me, he's a lot heavier than me. And he's not letting that stop him. And then I would think about Helen and how Helen uh, was older than the both of us, and she didn't let that stop her. So, what is my excuse? Why am I thinking about stopping? Why am I not pushing through? Why am I not giving it all I can? I think that's a great question. So, as you're pursuing your dream, I want you to look for unlikely mentors. Look for people who have a better excuse. People that you look at them and you say, oh, well, if I'm having a hard time, they're having an even worse time and they're succeeding. Look for those people for inspiration. Uh, if you want to think about it this way, there, there are a few people that do motivational speaking, life coaching, that sort of thing, that are atypical in that they are not hugely gifted naturally. This is what we think a mentor should be, someone who 
it just comes natural. And so they could share with us all the keys to success that they've found over the years. But for me, what really encourages me isn't that kind of person at all. It's the opposite. The uh, guy named Nick, who was born with no arms and no legs, he tried to commit suicide one time in his life, and now he speaks professionally. If he can do that without arms and legs, I'm perfectly functional. What's my excuse? What about Davy? Davy was in Vietnam and he was throwing a grenade and it ignited. It was a incendiary grenade and it ignited before he was done throwing it and it burned off a lot of his skin and he survived despite people saying that he wasn't going to. I haven't been partially burned alive. So what's my excuse? No, you see, I'm not as motivated by people who are better looking than me, who are stronger than me, who are more talented than me. I'm in fact more motivated by the people who have more difficulties to overcome. Because if they can overcome their difficulties, why can't I overcome my, by comparison, minimal difficulties? So. What about Dave Ramsey? If you know Dave Ramsey's story, you would know that this is a man who had to declare bankruptcy multiple times. So the fact that I've lost a house, that just doesn't seem nearly as big a deal. The fact that I'm starting in a room in a rented house and he started in his kitchen on a card table, that gives me hope that I can do the same thing. Now, I've got a separate niche. I'm going after different people, but it encourages me that someone who made even worse financial decisions than I have can succeed. So, it could be in any area of your life. It could be in any aspect that someone is facing tougher challenges, but I want you to stop and think, who are these people? Who are my unlikely mentors? The people that I can look up to, not because they were born with all the advantages, but quite the opposite, because they were born with all the disadvantages. And how can I use those skills that they have acquired to help me go out and change eternity? Until next time, I'm Paul Allen Clifford with TrinityDigitalMedia.com.